Well, welcome to my shed. I'm standing in front of my Ransom front Frontline 728D. It's a four-wheel drive, full uh, hydrostatic. Um, actually, it's a soft, what I would call a soft four-wheel drive. It's all hydraulic motors. There's four hydraulic motors that power each. One powers each wheel. So, in a lot of ways it's great, and in other ways it's not so great, but... It's an older machine. Uh, it says 1998 right there. Uh, the original owner of this was probably a golf course. And it, maybe this machine was parked outside. But um, what was happening is grass builds up in this in this area. Every more deck is the same. Anyone out there that knows cuts grass you can see it built up back here. I haven't cleaned that off. Uh, but my machine's kept inside so the rain doesn't get on it. If I did cut in the rain, I would clean everything off, get the blower and blow it all out. But what's happened over the years is that more deck has completely rusted out. And the last time I was out with it, this piece here, I think it's an idler pulley or something. I can't find what came off there. It jumped off, fell off, and it's I can't find it. So I've looked all over. So here's my issue. I think I mentioned this in my last video about this machine. As something broke off back here, <clears throat> there used to be something there, probably a guide pin, or I think it was a guide pin like this. And this one's loose too. It's about to break off. This one seems solid right here. I think this machine spent a great deal of its life outside in the elements. And since I bought it, it's always in a shed now. But the grass sits on here and rusts everything away. Well, <clears throat> we got a major rebuild job to do here coming up. So, for today, I'm kind of ashamed to admit what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut a piece of, I think this is uh, 18 or 20 gauge, it could be 16 gauge. Anyway, it's heavy sheet metal. I'm going to patch this hole right here. I'm going to weld a plate back here. I've got a piece of, I think it's 5 8 threaded rod. I'm going to install a bearing back here as a, on a guide along this belt because the belt's shaking around. It's just doing this violently and then it just jumps off over here, it jumps off this pulley. So I can't cut grass with it. And the grass is grown as we speak, so I got to get this fixed really quick and back out, up and running sharpen my blades, grease everything, and uh, get going here. I've got a lot of grass to cut. So, I'll bring it back as I progress here. I'm going to try and line up. I can raise and lower that, that bearing with these nuts. That's why I want to use threaded rod. And then what I'll do is lock the two nuts between the bearing, kind of like that. And I'm hoping that's enough surface that it will it won't jump over the bearing, but who knows it may not work out. But that'll be the next step if that's the case. So we'll get we'll fire up the grinder here. I got the Metabo grinder out and we'll uh, clean up that rusted out piece of crap back here and weld in a piece of steel. Let's get going. I'm looking for a, that's too big, 7 8 no, 3 quarter tap. And I'm telling you, man, I can't see the numbers on these anymore. So I think what I'm going to do is go grab the nut. That's the best way to check. Okay, I got the nut. I got the piece of threaded rod. That seems too big. That's got to be... Seven eighths. There we go. There's three quarters. And there's my tap holder. So we're in business. I'm going to drill a hole to find out what size. Looks like that's a little rusty in there. Not going on too good. Okay, let's go drill that hole. I've got it marked out. And, uh, it in that piece of plate. 
We're drilling. Oh yeah. So we gotta go up to, I need a 21, 30 seconds drill bit, but I don't have one. So we're gonna go up to 5 eighths. That's the size we need. So here's my 5 8 and it's not really big enough, so I don't know. I'm hoping this will work. Let's see. That bit is not very sharp. It's the first time I've used it. So I sharpened it up. I don't know if it's any better. <laughs> Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. It's working. Okay. Okay, I'm getting away with it. No, I think the larger stuff you can you can get away with. No, not quite being at the right size and so on. If this was a really small small tab, I would have to have the exact right bit because it wouldn't work. That's threading right in. Seems to be running pretty straight too. <clears throat> I hope. Oh. I don't know. Looks crooked. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. We're just trying. So all we can do is try. Okay. Going in. I just don't like the look of it. It's definitely crooked. You guys can't see it from that side, but there. It's a little off. See a bit of an angle. I think I'll be alright though. I think what I'm gonna do is just bend this part in the vise a little bit. You know, kind of like that. Anyway, see what we can do. But I think what I'm going to do is weld it right in there. I'll just weld it around the bottom here. Anyway, we'll see. And then I got the two nuts. And uh, get that bearing on the right height. And we're in business. So... Got some good news. I ran the top through it again. I just forced it over. I pushed it kind of. And look, I got a little bit of play. And uh, it's pretty close there. See, how, this is how far off it was. It was way off. So, still not there. Still quite not quite there, but much closer. I think I'll do it again. And it doesn't matter if there's play there. I can force that, push on that while I'm welding it. Yeah, I should have taken a little more time, a little more care in tapping that hole. Anyway, live and let learn. That's the way it is. Well, this is looking better. I got to bang on, but there's a lot of play in it there now, so I'm starting to think maybe it would have been <clears throat> smarter just to drill a three-quarter hole. So I'm planning on welding on the bottom side here. Just put a bead of welder on there, hold it in place so it's good and secure, and uh, and then yeah, we'll cut it off at the proper height here, and we got it. We'll get it. It's a lot of freaking around. Okay.
Okay, I'm ready to weld it. Let's see. So I'll just put the square on it and check and make sure it's close. That looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but... No, I haven't gone too far. Closer the better. Oh yeah, that's right on. Okay, this way now. Gotta check the two axes. Oh yeah, that's bang on. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna finish welding it. That's done. Next, we weld it to the Mordek. So, it's gonna go with something like something like that, and we space that bearing up. I won't have room for that nut underneath, but we'll space it up something like that, and uh, that belt will ride against that pulley, that uh, bearing, and stop it from jumping around and jumping off over here mm, it's looking good I may have to move it over a little bit but okay so I think I'll look a for a couple of uh, washers and just space it up with washers that's the simplest way and then I'm gonna pull that belt off we'll go in there with the grinder clean all that rust off around these edges and uh, get a good surface to weld to and weld it in place tack three corners just the one two three tacks and uh, it's getting dark it started to rain and I really wanted to get this finished so that seems to be working I don't think there's enough tension on that but it's not jumping around like it was before so I think we've got it I think we got the problem solved I'm gonna clean up this edges of this we'll weld a little piece of sheet metal on there just to get through the summer and I'm gonna think about patching this up too. Put a little piece in there. I don't think I need to go too crazy here. I'll try and get in there with the grinder. I don't think I can weld to that rust. And then uh, and we'll go cut some grass. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna tack some more welds across here and across the back back corner here yeah it's getting late now it's 8 30 so this will be ready to cut grass very shortly and uh, it's, it's a strange kind of belt I don't know if you notice that but it's like a double-sided belt it's got a it's made to go into a V pulley on each either side of this belt so uh, I've never seen too many belts like that but because the, the actual uh, the drive pulley, you can't see it down in there, it's dark. But it's actually driving the belt on the outside of the belt, on this side. On this, uh, and the blades are powered on this side over here. It's kind of unique. Yep. Okay, let's get that finished up, welded, we'll patch that, and we'll test it out.
just so much rust in there it's not really I've got to do better I got to pull this all apart and do it right but for now this will get me through the summer Okay, well that's on there now. There's a patch, just got to weld it in place. It's a pretty good fit, a temporary patch. Well, it's not burning through, so that's kind of good. Okay, well, I got that welded in the best I can do for now. Uh, it'll stop the grass from blowing up there. And uh, I think I'm just going to throw the belt back on here and uh, go test it out. Uh, yeah. I got grass to cut. So, let's go try it out. Okay, the belt's on, let's go try it out. It's gonna be noisy. <laughs>